Good morning, family. So finally, a brilliant response from Israel on South Africa, taking them to the International Criminal Court. On October 7th, Hamas perpetrated an act of genocide on Israeli soil. Its death squads executed a campaign of systematic extermination with a clear mission to murder as many Israelis as possible, as sadistically as possible. It was an act of genocide perpetrated with Nazi-like cruelty and Nazi-like efficiency in the service of a Nazi-like ideology. The only reason Hamas didn't succeed in committing further genocide is because our security forces stopped it. Hamas openly makes clear its genocidal intent. On October 24th, Hamas official Ghazi Hamad told Lebanese television, we must teach Israel a lesson and we will do this again and again. The Al-Aqsa flood is just the first time and there will be a second and a third and a fourth. He goes on, nobody should blame us for the things we do. On October 7, October 10, October 1 million, everything we do is justified. Hamas is hell-bent on a genocide of the Jews and it is hell-bent on sacrificing its own civilians for that cause. We are fighting to remove the threat of annihilation, bring back the hostages trapped in the terror dungeons and thwart Hamas's systematic abuse of its own civilian population. The State of Israel emphatically condemns South Africa's decision to play advocate for the devil and to make itself criminally complicit with the perpetrators of the October 7 massacre. On October 7, South Africa openly aligned itself with the Hamas rapist regime when it blamed Israel for Hamas's violation of the ceasefire and covered up Hamas's crimes against humanity. It is now aiding and abetting that machinery of genocide. Collaborating with the perpetrators of genocide is, alas, not new to South Africa, which backed Omar al-Bashir after he was indicted for genocide in Darfur. While the Hamas rapist regime does everything to maximize civilian casualties with its despicable human shield strategy, Israel is employing measures unprecedented in the history of warfare to minimize civilian casualties. We have been clear in word and in deed that we are targeting the October 7 monsters and are innovating ways to uphold international law, including the principles of proportionality, precaution and distinction in the context of a counter-terror battlefield no army has faced before. That is why we spent weeks urging residents of northern Gaza to evacuate before the ground offensive. To warn civilians, we placed over 70,000 phone calls, sent 13 million text messages, left 14 million voice messages and dropped nearly 7 million leaflets, urging civilians to evacuate temporarily for their safety, informing them about humanitarian pauses and precise evacuation routes. That is why we secured humanitarian corridors for civilians to escape Hamas. That is why we set up a helpline for Palestinian civilians to tell our army if Hamas was stopping them fleeing. And that is why we designated a humanitarian zone in one of the only places in Gaza where Hamas was not already hiding behind civilians. The Hamas rapist regime bears full moral responsibility for all casualties in this war that it launched on October 7 and is waging from inside and underneath hospitals, schools, mosques, homes, and UN facilities. In giving political and legal cover to the October 7 massacre and the Hamas human shield strategy, South Africa has made itself criminally complicit with Hamas's campaign of genocide against our people. It shares culpability for the tragic loss of human life. The State of Israel will appear before the International Court of Justice at The Hague to dispel South Africa's absurd blood libel. How tragic that the rainbow nation that prides itself on fighting racism will be fighting pro bono for anti-Jewish racists. We have no doubt that after the Jewish state brings to justice the perpetrators of the bloodiest massacre of Jews since the Holocaust, history will judge South Africa for abetting the modern heirs of the Nazis. We assure South Africa's leaders, history will judge you, and it will judge you without mercy. Brilliantly said, brilliantly, and on point. And uh, what he doesn't mention, which people don't really mention or know about, is that they're committing genocide here in South Africa already. Just if we even start by the white farmers. But um, that is why they support Hamas. Birds of a feather clump together. 
And he's also not mentioned the biblical principle of blessings and curses. Those who bless you will be blessed. Those who curse you will be cursed. And here we are now seeing this in action and in front of our faces. And in South Africa, we are feeling the repercussions of what has been done by this leadership. So well done, Israel. This is a really, really good response.